chop chop curry pop pattern more than badminton very shock ah don't play play singlish steady from pp hi my name is wendy i was born in tanzania i grew up in singapore studied and worked here i can speak english mandarin swahili and singlish Anytime I came back from primary school or come back, maybe I learned the word isiawa. My parents would be like, no, don't use English, you have to speak proper English. And I'm like, okay, okay, fine, sorry. A lot of people in my family were like English teachers or literature teachers. So they believed that you should speak good English and that Singlish is not good English. Is Singlish really bad English? No one really has a very clear idea of what Singlish really is. Even within the academic circle, people still think about Singlish as just people speaking English in a very relaxed or casual way. But I don't think that's true because Singlish clearly has very different grammatical structures and also very different vocabulary. I think it's a mistake when people say that Singlish is predominantly a Chinese borrowed language. It is Chinese people trying to speak English. The grammar of uh, Singlish isn't just uh, from, you know, the East Asian speaking people. It is also, you know, very much tied to South Asians. And so people who come from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, they listen to our Singlish, they can catch it and they know how that language works and we can communicate on that because there is a very interesting similarity in the grammar that we use that are similar to the languages that they speak. Okay, can go already or not? Come already or not? Eat one. All these forms of using English words in a particular arrangement, it could very easily be understood by a migrant worker from Bangladesh as it is could be understood by someone from China. So if you want to ask someone a question in standard English, you may ask it this way. Have you eaten the durian? If you want to ask it in Singlish, it will be quite simply. You and eat already? If you judge this by English grammar, then clearly it has very bad grammar because durian cannot do the eating, right? But if you sort of go a little bit deeper and ask yourselves, where did this grammar come from? You can actually see that it is, in fact, from Hokkien, um, where you want to ask the question in Hokkien. Is Singlish really hard for foreigners to understand? As someone who, who doesn't speak Singlish, it's sort of like a difficult for me. It's not the easiest like language to kind of learn the nuances in like when you say Ken la, or like Ken le, Ken la. All these la la le doesn't mean anything, but um, when you add them to, to the back of a sentence, it can mean very different things. Can I have an update on the status of the meeting for the presentation? Is wow. This is amazing. You must try it. Die, die, must try. As a foreigner myself, if I didn't go through a local education, I probably wouldn't have picked up Singlish. Singapore is not only about MBS or all the touristy spots. It's about Singlish and being in the heartland and knowing how people speak and why these people speak in this uniquely Singaporean Singlish way. In 2016, author Gui Li Sui wrote an editorial in the New York Times on the growth of Singlish through the years. I wrote this article for New York Times because they were curious about Singlish. Uh, and so I, I wrote about the history of Singlish. I got hate mail. I got people stand up, school me in talks that I give. Is Singlish a low-class language? It's just 
to fulfill different purposes or in different settings. I view Singlish as you know one of the languages in my repertoire of um, languages. It's like a skill set. You know, I, I can take it out whenever I want to, um, or in appropriate settings. If say like I'm speaking with someone who is like a foreigner, then my for some reason my accent will shift a bit to theirs. So it's something that my brain does. Young people are able to differentiate between Singlish and English because of what they've learned in school and it doesn't affect their ability to speak good English. There is still a kind of desire to speak English like the Americans or the British. That's very much a part of this global phenomenon where English has become an international language. Is it what you want to eat? Eh? Why are you always like that? Oh, okay, then what you feel like? Some quit. Hey, hello, mate! Hello, puppet! Oh, we're starving! Yeah, what's up, dude? Wanna get some food? Grub? Hey, why so cheap? I Singaporean leh. Oh. Oh. So you wanna eat what? Fish and chips. I see he knows what he wants. Jolly good, mate! English is already built, it's already established, and it's our identity. Singlish is something that you learn as a community. You go through primary school, you go through secondary school, and then just gather more to your vocabulary. For me and my siblings, we grew up and lived most of our lives in Singapore, so it's quite natural for us to pick up Singlish. Especially going to local schools and interacting with everyone there, you kind of speak the same way to like relate to people. Singlish is so deeply ingrained in every Singaporean here that I think it's really, really hard to ban it completely. Whether you like it or not, you'll still end up using it. Up next, what is the future of Singlish? We ask our very special guest.